Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Aesop's Fables, and we are on page four. Page four, very simple page. We're going to have um, a four and a half by nine inch pocket. You're going to score three inches on, I'm sorry, score a half inch on three sides. <laughs> and we're going to apply that to the bottom of um, page four. Is that what I want to do? No. No, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to do my flaps first. So we have the left hand flap, which is six by five. You're going to score a half inch on the six inch side. And then we're going to get these flaps installed. Then we'll add the pocket. I'm just going to do this flush with the top of the page. There we go. Looks good. Sorry about that. Throwing my... Uh, score tool okay and then the right hand side is five and three quarters by four and a quarter do I have that right nope I don't five and a quarter by five and three quarters five and a quarter by five and three quarters you're going to score a half inch on the five and a quarter inch side I wrote it down wrong okay now the two images that we're going to use on these flaps came from the um, 12 by 12 collection pack and um, they're just, just juxtaposed on the page and I trimmed them out to these sizes because I think it worked out. So now we can, um, if we close it this way, it slightly overlaps the mouse, but we've got this full image of this, but you can kind of go back and forth. So I think that's how that's going to work. So the next thing we need to figure out is magnet placement. And I'm going to double check. Yeah, this is too tall. It's covering up the cap. So we're going to put the mouse down first. That's where we're going to put our magnet. Right here. And use some white tape. We'll go about right there. close to the edge but I think we're okay all right that's just the tape the magnets far enough away if I have to trim a little tape off I will okay so that's done so the next thing is to add that pocket so we'll go back to that nine by four and a half you're going to score th a half inch on three of the four sides to make this nice deep pocket it's going to get installed on the bottom of this page It, and it's going to go inside the two flaps. There we go. Let's make sure my magnets are still working. They are. I'm going to burnish this down a little bit. There we go. Magnets are still working. Go ahead and add our designer paper. This is from the A4 collection. Am I sure about that? No, I'm second guessing myself. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from the A4 collection. on top. So I'm going to leave the leading edge without glue so we can tuck it slightly into the pocket. About a half inch. It really only needs to go in about a quarter inch but I just want to make it as simple as possible. There we go. Thank you. 
section. There we go. So there's our base. Um, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. It's a cut of parts. And so it's for the um, city mouse and country mouse. It's gonna go in this pocket. Now we're ready to add the A side flaps. And like I said, this is a super simple page. And then I'm, on, I'm gonna take a quick pause and um, get the B sides lined up and that's it for page four. Pretty simple. Okay, now we'll put our mouse down. There we go. Hey, I'll be back in a minute with the B-sides. Okay, here we are with the B-side, and this is from the Patterns Pack, the 12 by 12 Patterns Pack. Super simple page. Let's burnish this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we are with page four. All right, we're moving right along. Okay, I'll be back soon with some more on the book.